The Hudson River, two years ago. We had classified intelligence that a new type of metal gear was scheduled for transport. The whole thing stank, but our noses had been out in the cold too long. This is Snake. Do you read me, Otacon? Loud and clear, Snake. Kept you waiting, huh? I'm at the sneak point. Everything going okay? Mm, stealth camo's busted. Landing impact. We must have overused it. Sorry, but you're gonna have to deal with it. You're not in the military anymore. Right. I didn't plan on relying on this gadget anyway. The private sector's not so bad, is it? Privacy guaranteed? I'm happy as long as no one gives me any more unwanted gifts. You mean that thing with Naomi? And I can't say I miss the chattering nanny. Mei Ling's not so bad. That reminds me, I have to get in touch with her again about that new Natick flashware. Diverting toys from the SSCEN again? Look, give her a message from me. Someone will find out, sooner or later. She's better off assuming it's sooner and quit while she's safe. Too true. Okay, Snake, let's get to work. 
You know how the technical specs of Metal Gear were sold on the black market after Shadow Moses? All Ocelot's doing. Exactly. And now every state, group, and dot-com has its own version of Metal Gear. Not exactly a classified weapon for today's nuclear powers. This new one seems to have been designed to wipe the floor with all the other models. The only consistent description is that it's an amphibious, anti-Metal Gear vehicle. That explains why this one is under Marine Corps jurisdiction. The mission objective is to make visual confirmation of the new Metal Gear being transported by that tanker and bring back photographic evidence. But I want you first to go up to the top level of the infrastructure, to the bridge. We need to find out where the tanker is headed. A little reconnaissance, huh? There's too much we don't know about this new prototype. Capabilities, deployment method, we don't even know how close it is to completion. If we know where the testing arena is, I can start to draw some reasonable conclusions. All right, I'll head to the bridge ASAP. Try to avoid confrontations. Our goal is to collect evidence on Metal Gear development and expose it to the world. It would be best if you could get out of there without alerting anyone. Don't worry. I know the drill. We're not terrorists. Very good. Don't you forget that you're part of Philanthropy now, an anti-Metal Gear organization and officially recognized by the UN. Recognized, but still fringe, Otacon. They don't look armed. Hey, Earth to Snake. These are nice, upstanding Marines, not terrorists. Don't get caught. You're in stealth mode here. Sure. And if it comes to that, a little beauty sleep never hurt anyone. By the way, Otacon, are you sure of this intelligence? Absolutely. Hacked it out of the Pentagon's classified files myself. No traces? Oh, please. I'm too good for that. But this might be a trap. Remember, there's a price on our heads. You're just being paranoid. I hope so. Those men, you wouldn't think they were anything but civilians from here. With all the ships passing on the river and in the harbor, putting uniformed marines on the deck would be a bad idea. People can get a clear view of the water from Riverside, too. The water line is too high. According to the navigational plans, this ship should have discharged its cargo upriver. It's in there, no doubt about it. The military trains you to watch for threats from the stern on a boat. That's SOP for counter-terror ops, too. Security should be tighter. You worry too much. Where's the target? Satellite surveillance is a major international pastime these days. I'd say the cargo holds, safely below the deck. Do you see the entrance to the holds? Looks like there are a few entryways into the crew quarters. The chopper. We're not the only ones after Metal Gear tonight. Is that a chopper I just heard? Affirmative. Probably another cavalry. It's their game. Hijack? They're probably targeting the ship's controls. Otacon, how many men do you need to take over a tanker of this size? The ship is run by a computer, so I'd say about 18 people. Russians? You sure? No marine barber touched that head of hair. I'm transmitting a photo. Let's get an ID on him ASAP. I'm on it. Looks like the tanker's theirs now. K-60 Kasatka. Kasatka? Kamov chopper, right? Killer whale. Look, Snake, all we need is the photographic evidence of Metal Gear. As long as we have those, we can put it online and blow the whole thing wide open. So no pyrotechnics, okay? All right, I'll do my best. This isn't like Shadow Moses. Reach me if anything happens.
Did you find out where that ship is headed? No, I'm looking at it. 35 degrees longitude, latitude around 58. More than 500 miles off the coast of the Bermudas, out in the middle of the Atlantic. So the prototype is ready for solo testing. Anyway, analysis can wait till later. Shalashashka has landed. I'm on my way to the tanker hold. Report your status. Control room, communications and engine room are under control. All entry and exit points to the tanker hold secured. Infrared sensors placed and operational. Good work. Are the explosives in place? Yes, they are all planted. Listen, once we have what we came for, the tanker will be scuttled. And the vehicle's pilot? He's the only one who underwent the VR training. No one else can do it. Are you sure you can trust him? Your part in the mission is complete. You are to leave at once. No, it's not over yet. I can see the moon, even in this storm, pale as death. I have a bad feeling about this mission. You swore this to me, that you would leave the unit once the mission was complete. Do not worry, this is a country of liberty. No, this is where I belong, with the unit. I have nowhere else to go. Father, I want to stay and fight. There is no choice to make here, Olga. Need I remind you that you are carrying my grandchild? You will be on the helicopter out of here now! Damn it. Freeze! Hands over your head, now! Toss your gun overboard, slowly. A woman. Show your face. You men, you're all the same. Who are you? We are nomads. Wanderers. Set to move. Americans. So you shoot women too. I'm a nomad too. What else do you have there? Take the knife and toss it. Not there. Toss it overboard. Hold that position. Now, turn around. You know what you're doing. It stopped me. Not too shabby, is it? New York, I mean.
and that brings our duel to its conclusion. Scout knife with a surprise. You are Spetsnaz. I think you deserve a little credit. No one's ever dodged that shot of mine. But no one gets lucky twice either. Unit since I was born. I grew up on the battlefield. Conflict and victory were my parents. The unit is my life. My family. We share everything. All the bad and all the good. I have no one. Nothing except the unit. Whoever you are, you're not stopping us. The ship appears to be under their control. The men have Russian gear, but I haven't been able to find out anything else about their origin. I know who they are. You do? We've ID'd the old man. Who is he? Sergei Gerlukovich. Gerlukovich? One of Ocelot's allies? Yeah, the Gru Colonel. He's the one Ocelot was supposed to meet up with after Shadow Moses. They're after Metal Gear. Everything's changed. This is not going to be as simple as we thought. You could say that. I saw a surveillance remote just now. It looked like the Cypher. A Marine Cypher T? No, Army. First the Marines, then the Russians, now the Army? You're right. This isn't gonna be simple. Snake, there's something I have to tell you. What? We didn't dig up this info about the new Metal Gear on our own. Not like usual. How did you find out then? It was a tip. An anonymous tip. Anonymous? You've never trusted those. Why would you start now? I, uh... I have a younger sister. A stepsister. We have different parents. I only knew her for two years. You've never mentioned her before. So? The sender of the tip was E.E. E.E.? -E. E -E? Her name is Emma, but I always call her E.E. -E. Emma? Emery? Yeah. It just caught my eye, you know? I, I figured it was a coincidence, but I couldn't get it out of my mind. There's really no one out there who knows about her. When was the last time you saw her? Over ten years ago. You think it's a trap to lure us out here? I don't know. After I got the tip, I did break into the Pentagon system to get confirmation. Okay. Watch your back, Snake. Maybe I screwed up.
All communications to the halls have been severed. No one is aware of our presence. Let no one down into the halls until we are out. Yes, sir. We will secure your exit with our lives if necessary. There is one more thing. Yes, sir. We thought you were with the Colonel. What the? <laughs> the Colonel will be joining you soon. ship's been taken over. I'm not interested in fighting these guys. The weapons won't do me much good here. Can you see Metal Gear? No. I'll have to go around to the bow. They have some serious defenses here. I doubt the recent rivals want to blast their way through the Marines either. Wonder where they're headed? I don't know. Not the beach, that's for sure. There's actually one little thing. Just spit it out. I'm used to things going wrong. It looks like someone's monitoring our transmission. Who? I don't have a clue. All they're doing is watching. It would creep me out less if they tried to interfere with our communications. Could it have something to do with that cipher we saw? Maybe. I've switched the encryption protocol for our burst transmission for now. What I want to do is use a different method for sending these photos, just in case. Instead of using the codec? Exactly. There's a workstation in the southeast corner of the block where Metal Gear is housed. I've made arrangements so that you can send the pictures from the machine. And one more thing. The Commandant's already begun his speech, but you need to get the pictures before he's done talking. Otherwise, they'll spot you, okay? How much time do I have? I hacked into his personal files and took a look at the text of that speech. I'd say you have seven more minutes. Longer if he throws in a joke or two. A seven-minute time limit, huh? Remember, Snake, just the photos, okay? With these kinds of odds, I won't be making any sudden moves. But that doesn't mean we can just let Metal Gear be hijacked. Okay, okay, but first the photos. All right, we'll deal with the rest when we get there. Stay low. At the moment, every industrialized nation on the globe knows the specifications ah. for Metal Gear. Worse yet, so do a number of rogue states. They initiated development of Metal Gear Ray as a countermeasure to these pirated weapons forces. The only thing that can stand up to a Metal Gear is, of course, Brace. another Metal Gear. You're all familiar with the shadow. 
Shadow Moses incident during the Sears administration. The current state of nuclear proliferation is a direct result of that event. Here. Freeze. The shift in the balance of power will mean a new world order play a central role in its military affairs. But it cannot be more. It is a fact that. So, any codec moments from you, Snake? The first image is... Okay, that's good. The shot from the right is in the bag. The next image is... Okay, this works. It's a great front view. Next up is... You're a pretty good photographer. We can definitely use this left shot. Okay, last one's coming up. This is great. The Marines lettering shows up really well. Excellent speech, my friend. Who the...? Gift of the silver tongue. They say it's the mark of a good officer. And of a liar. Americans are too in love with the sound of their own voice to speak the truth. Identify yourself. I am Shalashaska. Also called... Revolver! Ocelot! What do you want? This machine will be quite useful. What are you planning to do? Steal this thing? Steal? No, no, I'm taking it back. Nobody move! Understood? This ship now carries enough Simtex on its key structural points to blow it out of the water at the touch of this button. That's right. No one has to die needlessly. Street's 
I was raised in Znezinsk, formerly known as Chelyabinsk 70, the nuclear research outpost. What are you talking about? After the Cold War ended, my home was bought out by the Americans. Is there a point to this sad story? Now you would understand. Land, friends, dignity, all sold to the highest bidder, the United States of America. Even the technology that gave birth to these weapons is Russian, developed by us. What do you intend to do? Russia will rise again. And Ray is the key. I regret to inform you that I have no intention of selling Metal Gear. As I said, I came to take it back. Yes, returned to the Patriots. The Lale Lule Lo! How's that possible? Ocelot, you! Have you sold us out? <laughs> I was never in your employ, Kulukovic. Are you still in league with Solidus? No hard feelings, Colonel. Mother Russia can rot for all I care. Since when, Ocelot? When did you turn? I'm glad you noticed, comrade. I abandoned her during the Cold War. Ah! Metal Gear only has room for one! Gerlukovich, you and your daughter will die here. Damn you! <laughs> Sergey, looks like you were long overdue for retirement. I trust. Stop. Show's over. If you wish to live, I suggest you run now. This ship is still in the lower New York Harbor. You may yet make it to shore if you swim for your life. been a while, brother. Who are you? You know who I am. Liquid? Not so young anymore, eh, Snake? You're drowning in time. I know what it's like, brother. No wonder Naomi passed you over for the Fox Dive program. <laughs> Ouch! Get out of my, my mind, mind, Liquid! The price 
ghosts of physical prodigy. Few more years and you'll be another dead clone of the old man. Our raw materials are vintage, brother. Big Boss was in his late 50s when they created his copies. But I, I live on through this arm! Liquid arm.
proceeding as planned, sir. we discussed. Yes, I have photographic evidence of Snake on the scene. The cipher was most useful. I look forward to tomorrow morning's news flash. I would say the Marine Corps' plans are on indefinite hold. Yes, of course, Mr. President. sinking of that tanker two years ago. Of course. Terrorists blow a hole in an oil tanker full of crude barely 20 miles off the shore of Manhattan. Your classic nightmare. It didn't take long for the government to put an oil fence around the whole mess. And then that massive offshore cleanup facility went up inside. The big shell. I hear the cleanup isn't quite over yet. It takes time. But in the meantime, the shell's become a landmark, a symbol of environmental protection. The big shell is scheduled. Approximately six hours ago, the big shell was seized by an armed group. Do we have an ID? Former members of the Navy SEAL Special Anti-Terrorist Training Squad Dead Cell. 
Russian private army members may also be involved. It's a highly trained group and they have the big shell under complete control. Makes them think they can get that much. There was a government-sponsored tour going on at the Big Shell that day. Hostages, huh? A VIP from one of the major conservation groups, and one from our own government. The most important person in a sense. The most important person? James Johnson. The president? Unless the demands are met, the terrorists intend to blow the Big Shell out of the water. And the crude will ignite, turning the Manhattan Harbor into an inferno. That's not the worst case scenario. If the chlorides being used to decontaminate the seawater go up with the oil, toxins containing catastrophic levels of dioxins will be released. In other words, the Bay's ecosystem will be wiped out, and the sea will turn into a toxic soup for centuries, becoming the worst environmental disaster in history. You have two mission objectives. One, infiltrate the offshore decontamination facility Big Shell and safeguard the president and other hostages. And two, disarm the terrorists by any means necessary. You should know that SEAL Team 10 is also conducting a rescue operation. Is this a joint effort? No. Foxhound remains a covert body. Don't alert them to your presence. That is an order. This is Snake. I'm now inside strut A of shell one. Any problems? There was a brand new hole cut through the oil fence. There's someone else besides me that wanted to get in badly. That's not possible. What about SEAL Team 10? They landed on the roof of the Big Shell as planned. And by the way, Snake, we're changing your code name for all following communication. What's wrong with Snake? Just a precaution. You are now designated Raiden. All right, Raiden. You've already covered infiltration in VR training. I've completed 300 missions in VR. I feel like some kind of legendary mercenary. Okay, we'll skip that part. Make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. All right. I'll contact you if anything changes. First, make your way to the upper section of the big shell. How do I get up to the next level? There's an elevator at the far end of that area. Use that. Sounds good. an enemy sentry. AN-94 and a Makarov. Those grenades, all his equipment, is Russian-made. Must be a Gerlukovich man. Gerlukovich? A Russian private army that was in line to work with the Shadow Moses takeover group four years ago. What's their stake in this one? They must have made a deal, an arrangement with the terrorists. they become a band of mercenaries, an army without a country. Colonel, 
There's definitely another intruder in here besides me. That's not a possibility. Not a team. Looks like a solo job. One man. We may not know who he is, but he managed to take care of every sentry in the area. They're all out cold. Whoever he is, he's got some skills. We need to get an ID. But for now, you can take advantage of the situation and get to work. There's a terminal in front of the elevator. A node. Did you say nerd? Not nerd. Node. Oh. Use the node to gain access to the Big Shell's facilities network. Then what? Pull up the map of the structure. That'll let you activate the Soliton radar. should be functioning now? Remember your VR training sessions. The tool is exactly the same one. It maps the terrain as well as the position of enemy personnel. The bright dot in the middle is you riding. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. It gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. It's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. How do I save the mission data? I've set aside proprietary frequency for saves, and an analyst to work on the data too. Jack, is everything all right? What are you doing here? Jack, can you hear me? Rose, you're not supposed to be involved. What's going on? Jack, I'm a part of this mission. Colonel, what the hell is going on? Raiden, meet the mission analyst. She'll be overseeing the data saving and support. Why her? The Foxhound analyst that was supposed to take part in this mission was in an accident. Rosemary was brought in as a replacement. An accident? And according to the files, she knows you better than anybody else. Rose may be in the service, but an intelligence analyst is no field officer. Not to worry. She has our technical staff at her disposal. She's never been a part of a field mission. This is insane! I have my own reasons for selecting her for this mission, soldier. Colonel, I fail to see... I know your VR training performance in and out, but sometimes that's not enough. You're familiar with the Shadow Moses incident? You know I covered it in VR. If there's a crucial tactical detail that case taught us, it was the power of the operative's will to survive. I was trained to fight. My personal feelings have no place in a mission. We've learned that it doesn't work that way. And on the field, you need all the help you can get. Jack, you're stuck with me whether you like it or not. Rose. You need someone to watch your back. But I have conditions that need to be met, Colonel. What is it? I'll perform my duties and save that mission data. But I'm aware that technically I'm not part of the mission control team. After all, I'm just a normal girl who's worried about Jack. But that means, Colonel, that I am not required to follow your orders outside of my immediate duties. Jack is not simply a field personnel for me to track. His safety comes first to me, not the mission. And because of that, I will be monitoring and keeping a record of every communication you have with him, Colonel. Given the circumstances, you're free to do what you see fit. Hey, I prefer this to being kept in the dark waiting. I'd like to make a request, if I may. Of course. His handle is Raiden. For the duration of the mission, could you call him that? Yes, sir. All right, Raiden. Let me know when you're ready to turn in a save. The proprietary save frequency is 140.96. I just switched frequencies. Jack? What? Do you know what day it is tomorrow? April 30th. Is there something special about it? Isn't there? I can't remember. I'm sorry. Oh, well. I'll keep trying till I hear the answer. I'm gonna let you go now, Jack. Take care. Raiden, the enemy sentry is regaining consciousness. Be careful, Jack. Find somewhere to hide until the elevator arrives. You must stay out of sight.
The terrorists call themselves Sons of Liberty. Sons of Liberty? The name of their leader is Solid Snake. The hero of Shadow Moses? So that's why you changed my code name. Right, but he can't be THE Solid Snake. He died two years ago on that tanker after he blew it sky high. Could he have survived? Not a chance. The big shell is comprised of shells one and two. Each unit consists of a central core and six struts surrounding it. So the whole thing is shaped like two hexagons connected end on end. Exactly. And you're on the roof of strut A, shell one at the moment. And the president? Seems he was spotted on strut B. Do we really have no line of communication with the SEALs? They don't know a thing about us. You know we work in the dark, and this mission is no exception. Only a few people know about your presence here. There's no need for concern. This operation is under Pentagon's direct command. Your mission may be top secret, but it's gone through the usual channels. Day. Or rather, six. Get down!
Where is he? Strange smell. You smell like... Are you? It has to be. Shoot him! What are you waiting for? Bam. Yeah, Queen? Are you all done cleaning up? Yes, but wait till I tell you what I found. Something interesting? I'll tell you in person. Where are you? In the central unit with the president. Be right there. Hold on. I'm not an enemy. Calm down. My name is... My name is Pliskin. Iroquois Pliskin. Lieutenant Junior Grade. Are you a Navy SEAL? How did you get in? Fast rope descent from a Navy chopper. Have I seen you before? That suit. Are you Foxhound? That's right. Foxhound was disbanded. Huh? Where were you before Foxhound? Delta Force? I was part of the Army's Force 21 trials. Force 21? That's about tactical IT deployment, right? Any field experience? No, not really. So this is your first? I've had extensive training, the kind that's indistinguishable from the real thing. Like what? Sneaking mission 60, weapons 80, advanced VR, huh? But realistic in every way. A virtual grunt of the digital age, that's just great. That's far more effective than live exercises. You don't get injured in VR, do you? Every year a few soldiers die in field exercises. There's pain sensation in VR and even a sense of reality and urgency. The only difference is it isn't actually happening. That's the way they want you to think, to remove you from the fear that goes with battle situations. War is a video game. What better way to raise the ultimate soldier? So you're saying that VR training is some kind of mind control? Right. What's going on? The Alpha team from Navy SEAL 10 is dead. No, a single survivor. The kid's wired with nanomachines. Take a look. What the hell? A Navy captain. You all right? Give me a few minutes. Must have lost a few more pints than I thought. What was that man just now? That blood-sucking freak? That was Vamp. He's Romanian, a wizard with knives, as you saw. The way he moved didn't seem human. You won't see that in VR, I guarantee. What is he? One of the members of Dead Cell. Dead Cell? Him? A special forces unit created by ex-president George Sears. The name was originally intended to reflect its anti-terrorist functions, 
the unit would launch unannounced assaults on government complexes for the ultimate terrorism simulation. They were needed to show VR troopers like you how to deal with the real thing. But around the time their original leader died in prison, the unit began to unravel. They were always close to the edge, but they became more and more extreme, began to go after US allies, even civilians. We estimate that no fewer than 100 people died as a result of accidents the dead cell arranged on their own. They were out of control, and it all came to a head six months ago. What happened? The unit was devastated. There are only three left now, and you just saw one of them. Why would they go after the big shell? How should I know? I told you they were on the lunatic fringe. What about their leader? He says he's Solid Snake. Snake died two years ago. You mean the incident that made this big shell necessary in the first place? Right, and he was the one that sank that tanker. But he's a legend. Legends are usually bad news. There's not a lot of difference between heroes and madmen. You're saying Snake is still alive and pulled another one? No, he's not involved in this one. His body was positively ID'd two years ago. Snake is dead. And buried. What about the other soldiers? I saw Russian equipment too. Former Soviet military. They're probably mercenaries. The big shell is too much ground for just dead cell members to hold down. You weren't briefed on any of this? And you came in alone to boot? Why? What are you really doing here? Can't tell me, huh? Fine with me. I don't smoke. Keep it anyway. May come in handy. Take this, too. Zero. This is Bravo Zero, currently at the bridge between struts B and C. The president is... Damn, I can't hit this thing. It's like some bad dream. Alpha, anyone, come in, all Alpha. This is Bravo Zero. Aren't you going to answer him? The BC connecting bridge. We need to get there. Can you handle it? I need a few more minutes. Remember my frequency. It's 141.80. 141.80. Got it. I've been briefed on this plant's layout. If you need information on the place or about Dead Cell, contact me. You're using nano communication, right? Yeah, but I can patch into your frequency. Hey, what's your name? Raiden. Raiden? Strange code name. Makes up for the boring one my parents gave me. Maybe I'll find out someday. Jack, do you remember what day tomorrow is? That again. I'm sorry, but I still don't have a clue. That's okay. What is it, Rose? Talk to me. I'd rather you figure it out. It's important. How important? Important enough, and we'll talk about it tomorrow. Why not now? Tomorrow seems more appropriate. I need all the help I can get so that I won't chicken out anyway. Is that the reason you decided to be part of this mission? <sighs> okay, I'm gonna finish this thing by tomorrow no matter what. You know I'll do everything I can to help you. Rose, there's something I need you to do as an analyst. What is it? It has to do with Solid Snake. The leader of this takeover incident is claiming that he's Snake himself. The legendary mercenary? Hmm. I need as much data on him as possible. Everything they have on him after the Shadow Moses incident. He's dead now, isn't he? Yes. Should be a burial record somewhere, too. You should be able to request top-level security clearance from the Colonel. That should get us into the most classified material. I'm on it. I'll contact you as soon as I find out something.
hell is that? Come, put me out of my misery. This is impossible! Nothing will hit her! Is she the one they call Fortune? Today is another bad day. Is there anyone here that can give me happiness? Sorry, my beauties. I'll see you again someday. SEAL Team 10's Bravo team was wiped out. I see. What happened to the cargo choppers? Both of them are at the bottom of the harbor. Looks like your new hosts have a Harrier too. A Harrier? What is this? Calm down. It just means they anticipated the attack. What? Besides, since the SEALs drew their fire, your infiltration went off without a hitch. On top of that, we know their defensive capabilities. Are you saying this was all a feint? Raiden, get a hold of yourself. The entire mission is in your hands now. Do you understand? But... There's no time for questions. They could decide to retaliate for that failed assault. You mean the hostages? They could be in danger, yes. But we need to consider the possibility that they'll blow the whole shell. If that toxic spell does take place, it'll devastate not only the harbor, but poison the coastline for generations. <sighs> Raiden, we've had to adjust the mission objectives. The priority is now on removing those C4s of the terrorists wired over the big shell. The President can wait, but this can't. Colonel, you know I'm no bomb disposal expert. That's not a problem. The Bravo team brought an explosives pro in with them. He was supposed to stand by on Strut C according to their mission plan. You should find him there. Is this according to simulation too? What are you talking about? Get to Strut C and find him. Understood. But I need to ask you something before I go. Make it quick. Who are they? Dead Cell, I mean. They couldn't hit her no matter how hard they tried. And that vampire, too. It's... it's like... It's like being in a nightmare you can't wake up from. Jack, snap out of it. And you, Rose. I can't believe you're on this mission. I keep thinking I'll wake up. Right. This is real. And that's why you won't wake up. But nothing seems real. I've made up my mind to stay with you. Whether this is real or a bad dream, I'll keep watching you till it's over. Thank you, Rose. And I won't let you be just a dream. Are you two done? Right. You're needed on Strut C. Free! 
please! Don't shoot. You a cop? I'm not NYPD. I came in with the Bravo team. Who are you with? And what happened to SEAL Team 10? They're all dead. All of them? Oh, that's bad. Did I tell you you could move? It's all right. He's not one of the bad guys. Don't go pointing that thing everywhere, kid. What's your name? My name is Peter. Peter Stillman. I'm lecturer at Navscolio at Indian Head, also a consultant for the NYPD bomb squad. A poor old man who got dragged along for this picnic. I thought you'd retired. I did. Can't keep up with everybody, as you can see. A famous church got wiped off the map thanks to me, with too many lives inside. All I lost was this leg. So you're the bomb disposal guy. Kid, this is the bomb disposal guy. Open any explosives disposal textbook and you'll see his name. <laughs> Just ancient history now. Why did they bring you out of retirement then? Because the terrorist group here includes one of my students. The Emperor of Explosives, Fat Man. He built an atomic bomb when he was only ten. I created him in a sense. And that's why you're here. I'm pretty rusty. I was supposed to supervise the bomb disposal. Looks like it was taken care of before I had my turn. I wouldn't say that. There are at least two people here who can claim to be experts at bomb disposal. Are you two with SEAL Team 10? I didn't see you at the mission briefing. Oh, we're with another squad. My name is Pliskin, Lieutenant Junior Grade. Honored to meet you, sir. Mr. Pliskin, do you have any experience with explosives disposal? Don't worry about me. And he looks young, but he can do it. But we need more manpower. I'm, uh... What's your name? Raiden. That's an odd name. Any other survivors? There was also an engineer with me. An engineer? A skinny guy. He went in with us. Where is he? I haven't seen him since that skirmish. Was he killed? I don't think so. I didn't find his body. I see. They told me he was a security systems architect for the Big Shell. Why would they take a civilian along? Everything in this structure is computer controlled. He was supposed to get us past all the security measures. I never heard anything about that. He had official orders with him. Hmm. We'll leave that for later. Right now, we need to figure out how to deal with all the bombs. There's no need to think about this so much. You won't actually be dismantling the bomb. That's not for amateurs. What we'll try here instead is a temporary freezing measure. There we go. Simple, huh? The spray freezes the detonator instantly. How long does the effect last? There's no way the thing can detonate in this condition. Even if you leave it alone, it'll stay out of commission for at least 24 hours. That's enough time. Is there anything that'll help us locate the bombs? Here. Take this with you. It's what they call an ion mobility spectrometer. It can recognize ionized gas emitted by C4s. I know Fat Man well. I know how into his own aesthetics he is. Signatures? Yes. On every bomb he builds, he always leaves a trace of the cologne he uses. The sensor also picks up that particular scent spectrum. Is that something he learned from you? No, it was his own quirk. He wouldn't work by any rules except his own, and he followed them like a religion. And common sense wasn't one of his strong points. I thought I taught him everything I knew. I have no children of my own, and I thought I found a son in him. He had the right stuff, you know. There's something very unusual about an ability like that. Even at Indian Head, he got special treatment. I remember some people called him one of the fat cats. <laughs> Maybe that's what started all this. I didn't teach him the most important thing I had to tell him. There are some things you have to pass on. The trick is to know which one. Right. All I taught him was skills. And now I have to stop him from using it to destroy us all. Kid, this place is all yours. I'll take care of Shell too. Let's get going.
You stay here. No, I'm going. The two of us can handle it, don't worry. But... You'll just slow us down with that leg of yours. There's a war going on here. I don't have time to babysit anymore. Why don't you just let us handle the grunt work? You can tell us what to do over the radio, like in the original mission plan. All right. I'll give you instructions from here. I may also need to prepare a backup plan, just in case. In case of what? Good luck to both of you. This is a dangerous one. Who dares, wins. If anything comes up, let me know. My frequency is 140.25. Good luck, kid. I'll see you later. Semperfy. That man's no seal. I don't even think he's a Navy man. What? Semperfy. Marine Corps talk. Normally, team leaders stay in the CP and give orders with those headphones. And as far as I know, SEALs keep their officers away from the field. And Who Dares Wins is a model of the British Special Air Service. Is he one of the terrorists then? No, somehow I don't think so. If there's someone to suspect, I'd put my money on you. I'm... Just take care of those bombs for now. What about you? They could be back in this area soon. I'll hide out in this pantry for a while. If I lock the door, it should be all right. Plenty of food in here too, so you don't need to worry about me. I'll give you instructions by Kodak from here. Good luck, kid. Bomb disposal is a face-off with your own mortality. Don't let the fear get to you. When you give in to the fear, the darkness comes. I took care of the C4 in Strut C. The ceiling of the women's bathroom was set to blow. That's not like him. Anything wrong? Maybe. Pliskins reported other locations too, and none of them are effective demolition points. What do you mean? It means that they wouldn't be the best places to choose if you wanted to destroy this place. Are you saying they don't plan on blowing the shell up? It certainly seems that way. So far we haven't seen anything but a waste of good explosives. Unless, of course, we're missing something. A trap? He couldn't have overlooked the fact that I would be called into this. There's something going on. I've taken care of that annoying fly. What's the situation over there? Puzzling. I saw a man dressed like a ninja just now. Ninja? It's the only way to describe it. A kind of cyborg ninja complete with a sword. What? Are you hiding something from me? Olga, are you sure it wasn't an arsenal Tengu? Don't be a fool. Think I wouldn't know the difference? I've never seen field gear like that ever. All right. We'll intensify patrols. Anything else? Actually, one more thing. You'll find it hard to believe, though. I saw a man hiding under a cardboard box. Where? On the connecting bridge to Shell 2. Hmm. So you believe me this time? I've seen someone use that box trick before. We'll lay a trap on the Shell 2 connecting bridge. Over and out then. Freeze! You must be one of Dead Cell. Of course not. What a thing to say. Drop your gun! Not a chance. Soldier. Russian. Must be Olga Gerlukovich. How do you know? Unlike you, I've been briefed. She's not a dead cell? No. She commands a Russian private army. They must be the ones patrolling the big shell. That's right. 
She's led the group ever since her old man, Colonel Gerlukovich, died. Watch yourself with her. She's a tough one. Be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. Who is this? Stealth equipped Claymore mines, invisible to the naked eye. Use the mine detector. Identify yourself. Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? You mean from Shadow Moses? Mr. X, then. Mr. X now, is it? Why would it matter if I called you Deep Throat? Never mind about that. Why did you contact me? Let's just say I'm one of your fans. Colonel, someone calling himself Mr. X just contacted me. Do you know anything about it? No. And whoever it was, it wasn't a burst transmission. The transmission was sent from within the big shell. He called himself Deep Throat at first. Do you think... I caught that part too. But the possibility of it being true is none. Gray Fox was the one who used that alias in Shadow Moses, and he's dead. Is it an enemy trap? Could be. Exercise extreme caution. Jack, do you remember the day we met? I'm kind of busy right now, Rose. You're right. Sorry. I do remember. It was right after I transferred to New York. There are all these tourists around you, in front of the Federal Hall. A group of middle-aged Japanese ladies came up and asked me which building it was that King Kong was climbing in the movie. I said it was probably the Chrysler Building. And then you showed up and started mouthing off. You were like, no, it's the Empire State. I said the Chrysler Building was in Godzilla. <laughs> We started arguing, and I forgot all about the tourists. I was insisting that I was right, and you were doing the same. The next thing we knew, the Japanese women had gone away, and we ended up going to the Skyscraper Museum to see who had the better recall. We argued all the way to Battery Park. And for nothing. Since the museum was closed, we went our separate ways from the museum. And then I found you again by coincidence out in the base corridor. An amazing coincidence that we were actually working at the same place. That night we went up to the top of the Empire State. It was so beautiful. I could look down on the Chrysler building from 120 stories above ground. I felt overwhelmed. I didn't care anymore who was right. And that was our first date. We watched King Kong in your apartment a bunch of times that night. Didn't sleep till morning. Hmm. If it weren't for that coincidence, we wouldn't be together. I know. I'm sorry, Jack. I'm taking up your time again. What? Take care. This is Raiden. The C4 found in strut A has been frozen and disposed of. Explosives were planted in the pump room on the first floor. Good work. Only one more left to go. This is Pliskin. Do you read me, Pete? I'm here. What's up? Raiden, you need to hear this too. I'm listening. I checked out the bottom of Strut H for you, Pete. Wait, what's this about? I asked Pliskin to look around. Knowing Fat Man, I can't shake the feeling that all the bombs so far were just wrong. So did you find anything? Yeah, a hell of a lot of C4s packed into the bottom of the strut. Pete called it right. I knew he had the real thing up his sleeve. So all the other ones were dummies? No, they're a threat, all right. But the detonation wouldn't be enough to destroy the entire shell. But the C4s Pliskin found would inflict serious structural damage. That's not the bad news, either. These are sensor-proof. What? New model, I guess. The ionization sensor can't detect them. The whole thing is sealed tight to prevent vapor leak, and there's no trace of that cologne signature. Pete, looks like he fooled you. Yes. But you managed to find the thing anyway. It was sheer luck. Bombs that are invisible to the sensor? Any ideas, Pete? Are there more out there? I'll go see for myself. You can't move fast enough. He's right. 
I can try the spray from a distance. Hold on. There's something not right about this one. I can feel it. Well, Pete, should I come back and get you? No, there's no need. Raiden, you have one left to go, correct? Right, except for those scentless ones. How about you, Pliskin? I have two left, not counting this one. Okay. It'll have to be me. I have the level four card that'll get me into Shell 2 in any case. You'll never make it. With that bad leg of yours, they'll spot you for sure. That won't happen. I... I can walk just fine. I can even run. What do you mean? That bomb, five years ago. I messed up. Even with all my experience, I lost it. And a church was lost in the explosion. All those kids playing nearby, too. These past five years, I've lived a lie. Lied? Yes, lied. I didn't lose my leg in the explosion. Uh, so many dead. All because of my mistake. All I could think about was hiding from the crime, shielding myself from the public outcry. I wanted people to be sorry for me, for my weakness. I faked being a victim myself because I couldn't bear to face the families of the real victims. This is no prosthetic. I can keep my footing on catwalks and hike over deserts. I lived my life so well I haven't even answered to myself for my sins. It was supposed to be a shield and it's become a shroud instead. I've killed my soul by playing the victim. Instead of protecting me, it's made my life even more hellish. What good can that do the victims? I know. I'm a coward. Hey, Pete. God forgive me. I can walk with my own two feet, and I need them to stop Fat Man. His crimes are also mine. One of omission and arrogance. No one should teach the skills I taught him without a clear conscience. This is the only way I can defuse my own sins.